Hey guys, Grant here with VIPRC and Cyclone Hobbies, and today we're gonna go do a flap setup on the Spectrum DX18. Um, I know when I was setting up my airplane with flaps, I was a little bit confused, um, but it's actually very simple once you get it. Um, so first, we're gonna pick an empty model just to do it on. So we're gonna pick. Let's see what we're going to pick. Oh, by the way, let's get back. To find your model, you press clear and back at the same time over here. Let's move this camera over here. Hold on. Okay. You press clear and back at the same time. And now it comes up with a bunch of models. Um, and this, from the start, has a 50 mile memory, which is always good. Um, next, we have, we're going to pick Acro 7. And you scroll over and pick yes, select. Now, we're going to scroll down to aircraft type, because we just did the model select. And you have airplanes, helicopters, and sailplanes. On this one, we're setting up the airplane. So we're going to click on the air. Oh. Hold on. It's hard to do this with the camera. Okay. We're going to click on the airplane. Would you like it? The data will be reset. Yes. Click yes. Next, you can do model name. We're just going to leave it acro. Uh, we're not going to change that. So, we're going to click back out of that. Aircraft type. This is the wing. And on the wing, we have normal. Normal. Which is right there. Dual aileron. Flapper on. One aileron, one flap. One aileron, two flaps. Two ailerons, one flap. Two ailerons, two flaps. That's what I used for my carbon cup to set up. That's more normal. Elevon. Elevon B. Four aileron. And that's it. So we're going to... We're going to just go back to the normal wing, and then on the tail as well, you have normal, V-tail, V-tail B, dual elevator, dual rudder, dual rudder and elevator, and that is it. Again, we're going to click back on normal. So, that's how you get it to set up your flaps. Well, we're going to actually put it back on the flap setup to we're gonna put it to let me see let's do two ailerons two flaps again that's what the e-flight carbon cut uses so that's what we're gonna use then you click back on the main screen and it's telling me to update it even though I already did um, so first we're gonna click on our scroll again and now it comes up right down here at the end of the list with flap system. Now you're going to click on the flap system and then it'll go and have it. You click on that and you switch it to either whatever switch you want. Um, let's just put it on switch C and it'll come up with this list next. So we're going to put switch C to position 0, which is all the way at the top, right here. And it'll come up with this list. Now, on my carbon cub, um, I noticed that... Yeah, let's try to... Let's try to... Let's try this. Okay. I noticed that on this position... It was kind of, it was really weird to set up. So, I noticed that, that flaps have to be at 100% at the start. Right there. And then you click out of that. And go to position 1, which will put it 30. And then position 2 which will put at negative 30. And remember this is for one aileron and two aileron, two flaps. 
So that's what it looks like so far. And that'll give you a nice gradual descent down. Okay, guys. Now we have the E Flight Carbon Z Cub and DX18. Like I was saying, on the flaps, which are right here, um, I figured out that it was 100%, which was straight and level where they are right now with the ailerons lined up, and then 30 and then negative 30. So here's the result of that. So here's neutral, of course. Then number one, if you see, a little bit lower. Um, I don't have my flaps too terribly crazy on this. Um, and that even moves the elevator down a little bit. And then negative 30, a little more steep pitched. Um, and the uh, uh, elevator goes down again. So that is pretty much it on the E-Flight Carbon Z Cub. Um, that's about it. This plane is just amazing. And the DX-18 just makes it so much better. So again, on the radio, I have it set up on the F-switch, which is right here. And we can go one, and then two. And then back up on the F-switch. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.